All right. Awesome, I think. Okay, so uh, I throw it out to you first. You know, uh, has anyone come across uh, in the last couple weeks, I guess, uh, any news items related to new media in a way that you consider worthy of throwing out and chewing over a little bit? <laughs> Exactly. Yes. It's not super exciting, but um, the uh, Xbox 360 is coming out yeah. with the Kinect uh, motion I think it's really exciting. Yeah. 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 Which actually makes the human the controller. So you're, it's yeah. like getting closer to that minority report type. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the tech related blogosphere is a buzz about, like, all sorts of, you know, far out. Uh, uh, speculation as to you know what is this is this going to intensify eventually or even quickly intensify the uh, immersion in this alternate reality that is you know taking place with new media in so many senses you know so it is uh, an interesting well very interesting development anybody else got any uh, takes on this yes any Say again one more time. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, rumors which they deny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, like I say, rumors which which they deny, <laughs> but you know we'll see. Um, you know Google felt it. Google felt it imperative to release a phone, and Google is not a manufacturer. You know what I mean? Or at least a phone platform. Um, you know they felt the need to get in on the action, and they're not a manufacturer either. But you know this sort of convergence is taking place in all different sorts of ways. Any other items? Yeah. Uh, I think the Harvard Business Review released a study that showed that Facebook is, or people don't see Facebook as a reliable source of health information, which seems kind of stupid, but it kind of relates to what we were talking about in yeah. earlier communities, how like message source were like that was one of their main functions, like health information and stuff like that. Hmm. Well, the whole idea is, you know, that we were talking about last class is that, uh, you know, their Facebook is hoping that you know, people are going to trust the judgments of their friends over the judgments of uh, you know, strangers. Uh, the question becomes, I guess, are they going <laughs> to trust the judgment of their friends over the judgment of experts, right? Uh, and I guess the Harvard Business Review is suggesting that not yet. Not yet. Uh, okay. Any other? Yeah, Julian. Uh, the University of Arizona recently uh, showcased this 3D hologram uh, oh, yes. That, yes. Uh, they've been working on that can refresh at about two frames per second. Yes, so it's slow, you know, instead of uh, what they have is they film this, the objects from like 16 angles, mm -hmm. I think, and they've, you know, managed to create a moving, slow hologram, slow, choppy, like Princess Leia in the Star Wars <laughs> movies, right? <laughs> Alright, and I mean, that's what they're talking about. I read an article about it, and it's all about, you know, Luke, help us, you know? <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, um, you know, and uh, where, you know, all of this really is an intensification, and this is not going deep or getting weird, it's an intensification of the sort of virtualization of reality on all sorts of different planes, right? We've got this kinetic uh, game control, all right? We've got 3D coming out. Like you mentioned, I think, last class, you've also got, instead of augmented reality, diminished reality, which is what, how they're figuring out how to really cleanly, perfectly take images out of photographs, you know? Um, it's on. You know, it's not the future is now, in that sense. Any other uh, thoughts or um, so, I guess this would have been last week, but I came late, so I don't know if it was mentioned, but um, with regards to like the mayoral elections in Ontario, uh, there is a lot of like this oh, yeah. pleasement, I guess, about Rob Ford winning in Toronto. Yes. And like it was all over social networking sites, how people were upset and blah, blah, blah. And like someone from his campaign actually commented that it didn't really matter because people who use social networking don't really go out and vote and their opinions don't really like. 
matter. Really? So like, so because it's all like the demographic is yeah, yeah. people, and it's the younger generation who they aren't a big voting demographic. So like, it doesn't matter if like people on the Twitterverse yeah. are like displeased because they're you know, so like they didn't go out and take the time to vote. Ah, okay, all right. So yeah. I thought that was interesting that there was so much news coverage about uh, Twitter and yeah. relating to like an electoral race. Yeah. No, absolutely. Uh, 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 Emily. Yeah, so there's just on that note, um, Wired.com just yeah. did a study on the elections in the U.S. and how the candidates with more Twitter followers and oh, yeah. Facebook followers actually won the election more often than the yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, and you know, like they're not drawing it, they're saying, you know, it correlates, we don't know how it, you know, what the causal relationship might be, but it's, uh, certainly it's a uh, striking correlation. The, the candidates with more uh, Facebook pages and, 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 and Twitter streams, uh, mm -hmm. you know, basically one bigger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, the rally for sanity that uh, yeah. Don Stewart and uh, Stephen Colbert did. Yeah. Uh, I think it was originally like a joke type of thing, and then 270 people actually showed up. Yeah, you know, and that that trails into you know new media in the sense of like how just maybe just contemporary society is sh blurring the lines between entertainment and politics and news, you know what I mean? That could be a whole lecture in itself, or an essay. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, by the way, your research proposal is totally tentative. If you decide, like in the near future, you want to change the topic, uh, go ahead. Uh, but you know, we only do have a few more weeks. Uh, any other <coughs> observations about anything? Yeah. Did, uh, speaking of the mayoral election in uh, Toronto, uh, anyone hear of a Twitter-related controversy uh, involving uh, Rob Ford's campaign? I don't remember. The, I might not remember the exact details, but what happened is somebody somehow had a recording of Rob Ford, the mayor, uh, offering to, to 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 buy some guy some pills off the street, drugs. Uh, for I don't know why he was doing it. Um, I don't know too many details about it, but this was a while ago. I don't know how long ago. Uh, somebody had a recording of it. And so Rob Ford's uh, campaign manager uh, decided, okay, what I need to do is I need to get that recording or something, the original recording. And so he created this fake I Twitter identity uh, and posing as uh, someone who could help this guy release this story to the news. And he went and he met this guy and he got the recording and he like destroyed it or something. And I think this was his actual number one campaign manager. Before you quote me on this, check out the details, but the story I read was just like, and this is really a non-event, people don't really care that he engaged in this kind of, you know, deceit, <coughs> using Twitter in this, in this way. Any thoughts on that? <laughs> yeah, don't, again, you know, it's something I read a week ago, I don't remember the exact details, but something scurrilous like that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, uh, news of the week from my end. Uh, first thing I guess I'll throw out, I don't have a PowerPoint for it because I just read it on my way out the door uh, this morning. Uh, shortly after, I guess uh, the Ontario provincial government has just uh, declared that cell phones don't need to uh, have warning labels on them. Uh, anyone here debates over cell phones needing warning labels? What kind of warning labels are you talking about? What do you think? Warning yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, Well, it's a bit of a debate in the States, right? Uh, at least, I don't know uh, how it plays out in Canada or how it has played out, um, but you know, certain uh, politicians in the States are advocating to get, uh, yeah, so, you know, because of uh, the the uncertain uh, state of research on whether cell phones might cause brain cancer, is that what it is? All right, uh, and uh, yeah, so it's a bit of a deal in the States. Uh, I guess it has been in Canada, but the Ontario provincial government has just released a finding that they don't need to put these warning labels on, yes? Years ago, I remember my dad bought some charcoal that had a warning label on it that said warning may cause cancer in the state of California. <laughs> so I'm 
picture. Well, so in the state of California, everything costs more. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure it's California. California. <laughs> California. <laughs> um, yeah, well, the, 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 point, the main point of this story was that right after the government, uh, the Ontario provincial government released this finding or statement, ruling, uh, the National Research Council of Canada, <laughs> NRC, uh, has just released, and it's front page in the uh, Ottawa Citizen, uh, released uh, a finding that cell phone towers uh, may cause, <coughs> now, I, I was reading as I ran out the door, uh, sleeplessness, uh, uh, irritability, uh, cause people to speak in tongues, grow an extra thumb, I can't remember, but a list of illnesses. Uh, you know, so this is suddenly, you know, kind of a, a bit of a debate, you know. Is that kind of like standing in front of the microwave? I, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, that's my whole, like, I read that, and I'm like, okay, what do I do with this information? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, God. Oh, where's cell phone tower? You know? How do I plan an alternate route to the bus stop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brad. It's, uh, oh, Bill. Uh, it just seems like... For them to put a warning label on cell phones, so wouldn't they need with, like a definitive causation between cancer and cell phones? Yeah, and you know what it is is you've got just like everything, <coughs> like you've got a mixed board. record of findings. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, just like everything. I don't know if it's every, especially these days, but, but just like everything. Maybe it's because of the internet, because you can access all these different findings so easily. Yeah. Is that that's what you're realizing? Like, holy cow! Just because this newspaper quotes this expert on this, you don't have to go more than a minute before finding, you know, just as eminent <coughs> uh, an authority from just as respectable a university claiming the exact opposite. I think uh, one of the problems with uh, that's related to not just the internet, but the whole trend of like the quick response, quick let's find out do a research project and pre like present our findings <laughs> yeah. is we've lost the, the longitudinal study. Like mm -hmm. the, let's actually see what happens over a period of time that's gonna give us some significance